Charlotte. You 18, how old we? 20? So y'all young. Y'all perfectly young. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a little older than y'all, but y'all perfectly young, man. Give me first John 2 and 14. Let me get on this side. Break it out! Let me get first John 2 and 14, because what y'all got to understand, y'all got to understand y'all special. If you understand you special, that means you got a purpose on earth. That means, that means every day you wake up, your mind's supposed to be staying focused on now. I'm supposed to do something. That's right. I ain't supposed to live my life day to day with no with no purpose. You understand? Read that book. First John, chapter 2 and verse 14. I have written unto you, Father, because you have known him. That is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men. What? Young men, because ye are strong. Yeah, what? Ye are strong. So the God of heaven and earth know that y'all are strong. That's what that's why you're gonna see a lot of young brothers out here doing what we do. I'm a young man. But the, God is letting us know He's gonna raise up the spirit of the young men in the last day. He's gonna bring us out here to teach his word. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 11. Because y'all know we're still in slavery today. Are we still in captivity to, to this day? How? Like, how would you prove it? We in captivity to this day. Huh? Hey, come closer, y'all. Come closer. What's your name? I can't get him killed for real. Jeremiah? Jeremiah? What's your name? What's your name, bro? Darius. Alright, I'm Shadda. Nice to meet y'all. So, I'm gonna prove that we still in captivity to this day according to the Bible. Break it out! Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 11 Bring it out, and go get thee to them so this is God speaking to Ezekiel but this is prophetic for what we're doing now right? and go get thee to them of the captivity so we supposed to go to those that's of the captivity and let me ask y'all a question according to that sign right you see so called blacks, hispanics, native americans are those people in captivity Cause who rule over us? White folks rule over us, but it ain't just them. It ain't just them, there. It ain't just them, Jeremiah. All nations rule over us. But why is that? You gotta ask. You gotta ask why we being ruled over and why we don't have a, a pot to piss in, baby. Read that again. Go, get me to death of the captivity. So, y'all of the captivity. We the same race of people. We the Israelites according to the Bible. We were made slaves because we broke God's law. Right. So we princes in servitude right now. Bring it out. Read. Go and get thee to them of the captivity Bring and to the children of thy people. Right. The children of thy people. Come closer, bro. I want to get all three of y'all right here. Hey, bro, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, y'all come back? What's your name? Come close. Come close so you don't get hit by a car. What's your name, brother? Um, Lucky? 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 Hey, I'm Shaka. Nice to meet you, bro. Hey, can I ask you what, what's your nationality, man? Take a little sign real quick. See the sign right here? On that sign, based on what's your what's your father's nationality, his race? We black. So according to this sign, you will be from the tribe of Jews. So that's a royal lineage right there. So you gotta understand, you're not just a regular person walking on the earth. You actually, uh, you have some value, but you gotta know what that value is. We gonna give it to, we gonna give it to you right here. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So our people got to know the truth. Not our truth, not my truth, Bring not his truth. We got to know God's truth. That's right. That's right. And God's truth is what's going to set us free. Because right. are we free today? Look, dude. Bring it out. We free? What make us free? Because we got to pay, we got to pay taxes, right? Bring it out. Who we pay taxes to? Bring it up. We pay taxes to the so-called white man. Bring it up. Which rule over us. Which had our ancestors in slavery. Got us in slavery to this day. Right. We pay taxes to them. That's right. So by default, if you not if you sovereign, if you have sovereignty, you don't pay taxes to nobody. That's right. Our forefathers in the past, the kings, our kings that rule. 
We ain't pay, we ain't pay tax to nobody. That's real rulership. Right. That's right. real. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. So we yet this day in our captivity, right here, in the land of America, which is Babylon, the great according to the Bible. We yet this day right here. Our forefather showed up, 1619, we ain't went nowhere yet. We still right here. Read. And they curse, and to be subject to payments. So those taxes I was talking about, that's the payment right there. That's the payments we subject to. Because you guys, you pay rent, right? You pay a light bill. You pay a water bill. You being ruled over right now. But you got to ask yourself, hold up. And was I born to be a servant? Bring it up. Was I put on this earth to be a servant? Bring it out. Cause I, no, so I, I'm not we God. Me and you. Now we guys up on this earth. Why the guys getting shot down in the street? Bring it out. Why the guys in the ghetto? Right. Why the guy? Why the guys on Section Eight? Why? Why a guy got to go to another man? Get welfare. Right. Bring it out. Why we gotta go to the other nation tell you clean up my neighborhood? Shouldn't that be our responsibility? Right. Right. So we lost, we lost that manhood. It was taken from us by who though? Bring it up. Bring it up. So we see we went into slavery. Bring it up. Bro. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. Here we go. So deep. Because of the sins of our forefathers, this happened right here. Come over here real quick, bro. Because of the iniquities that our ancestors committed, this stuff happened right here, and that's why we still here today. Right here, what's here? Right here on Van Gunn and Week, where a lot of crime go on, a lot of brothers get shot in cold blood by their own, own people. Right. By their own people. Yeah, right. we get, yeah, we get shot by the cops, but guess who killed, guess who killed black people more than the cops? Break it out! Black people. That's right. Because right. it's day to day. It's day to day. Every day. Another brother did. Jose 401. Another brother did. Another brother did. Pookie done shot Ray Ray. Right. Don't that Bring go on every day? Bring it up. How do we stop it then? What's the solution? How do we stop it? That's what we out here for. You understand me? That's what we, that's what we out here for. Bring it up. We out here to fix the problems in the community. Right. But, in order to fix the problem, we gotta get to the root that's causing it. That's you understand? Right. This is what's causing it right here. This is the root. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You children of Israel. Hear God's word. Yeah. Read. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So, a controversy D. God got a problem with us. Read. Because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Cause ain't no truth, ain't no truth out here. God's laws ain't out here. And y'all don't have no mercy on one another. Ain't no mercy amongst our people. What just, ha what just happened when the brother got shot in his own apartment? Bring it up. They forget, they, hey bro, hey bro. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey, come talk with me, bro. I see that shirt, bro. I like that shirt, man. I like that shirt. It say don't. It say don't shoot. Give me the law. Exodus 20. Give me the law. So, what's your name, bro? Elm. I know. So I can see you and I'm saying you're an older brother. So you've been around for a long, long time. You've been seeing a lot of stuff going on. You've been seeing a lot. So your shirt, man, it say don't shoot. Let's see if that's in the box. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Look it up. Thou shall not kill. So God of the Bible said, gave us a law. Thou shalt not kill. Your shirt, don't shoot. No gun. So if we follow that, if we follow that, in, what effect would that have on our, on our community? Bring it out.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew, it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.